So you guys thought I was joking when you saw that in the community tab, I actually posted that I did vote for uh, Sky Condor to be the next figure to be made for the uh, movie Monster Series toy line. <laughs> well, alright, so, uh, you know, we got a lot to talk about today, right? So normally, I don't like to do this. I don't like to talk about, like, multiple things at once whenever I do these type of videos. But today, we're going to be talking about two things. We're going to be talking about one of Godzilla's most bizarre and weirdest <laughs> villains ever made. <laughs> And of course, the uh, movie monster series lineup as well. Uh, just to, of course, add some context because you guys know I love to do that. Uh, you know, to inform you guys what this type of stuff is. Uh, the movie monster series. I mean, it's been around for a really long time. I I want to say maybe 2000 or 2001. Uh, but that's not that's not really saying much because even before then they were making you know Godzilla toys and all that in that very specific style of being made of that weird kind of you know well they call it I don't even know the proper name of the material a lot of them a lot of people just call them like Safubi or like you know like the um, vinyl of course you know but what makes them unique of course is their detailing and they're very like their simplicity with their articulation and all that. I mean, it's like they're statues, but they're not statues at the same time, really. I mean, it's it's a unique toy line for sure. And obviously, it's perfect for anyone that loves Godzilla. And they've even expanded the toy line. So that's not even the only character they do now. They do, you know, they even, they did Ultra, um, Shin Ultraman, uh, some of the Gamera movies. I mean, they, it's, and even Kamen Rider too, to an extent, which that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, so once in a while... Uh, they do like a voting poll uh, I, from uh, from what I can remember this morning. I think if you go on like the official like Toho or like Godzilla YouTube channel, something like that. I know if you go on, on whatever, they actually did post it like a, you know, a link to the website uh, that, that will jump you right, you know, into the voting poll. And they give you a list of characters uh, that they've, you know, selected like, well, which one would you like to see in figure form? Which is pretty cool. I actually like that they do that. I know that a long time ago. They did one with, uh, I, I know Gorosaurus, I think, was chosen, and obviously, as great as that was, it was a Godzilla store exclusive, and even then, that's not even the first time. I know that they've done a few more after that. I, I don't know. I think one of the choices was like Super Super Mecha uh, Super Mecha Godzilla or something like that. I don't know. So I do do that once in a while. They don't really. It's not like a, a big huge deal or anything like that. But obviously, with the huge selection of characters that they offer. It's kind of weird to see that, you know, maybe only like maybe one or two might get their own figure. It's one of those situations where even if only one figure gets picked, you know that a whole bunch of the other ones will get their own figures eventually. I mean, the fact that, you know, we got we got a, a 2004 Manila. I mean, that's pretty shocking to say the least. I'm surprised they haven't made the original version yet. Uh, so, I mean... We gotta talk about the, you know, the elephant in the room, or should I say the giant bird, uh, or the giant uh, battleship. For anyone that watches all classic 1950s monster movies, only you guys will probably get why I say that. Uh, but going a little, going a little bit too much into that, right? Uh, <laughs> let's talk about Sky Condor, which why like bandai like come on i mean don't get me wrong i'm very happy that they're trying to connect a little bit with the fans and be like hey we didn't forget about these other weird characters that you probably haven't seen in a long time but still i mean if you don't know who sky condor is just just watch the clip like seriously just watch it that's um that's pretty interesting right uh so let's let, let's get to let, let's talk about this for a minute right so they don't do this anymore but obviously if you bought any like godzilla movies that are specifically made by toho uh they used to like of course show you like at the back of the dvd or the blu-rays whatever they still show you like what characters is going to be in the movies and all that you know so like for an example let's say uh you, you you're going to watch godzilla versus mecha godzilla right so it says that, you know, that there's Godzilla, Mechagodzilla, and Gears, and then King Seizure, and it's like, oh, so all four of these monsters are going to be in the movie. Even though, in a, to a certain degree, it would have been nice to not know that Anguirus and King Seizure was going to be in it, especially considering that King Seizure actually does play a huge role in that film, uh, to an extent, 
I'm not gonna explain the whole entire plot here because we get we, we gotta talk about Godzilla versus the sea monster I mean that movie on its own has a very weird and crazy history to it because originally it was not supposed to be a Godzilla film it was actually supposed to be a King Kong film because they still kind of had the rights to you know the character at the time because obviously a couple years back they did the original King Kong versus Godzilla not Godzilla versus Kong King Kong versus Godzilla there's a difference trust me uh, but obviously, I don't know, something went wrong with the rights and the idea that they pitched them for the movie didn't really work that well. So instead, they just replaced it with Godzilla. And of course, the movie also has it's also called Ibria Horror of the Deep because that's the name of the. Do I really call him the antagonist? Because they don't really fight as much in the movie, really, to kind of qualify him as a big, huge villain. But then we need to talk about, um, you know sky condor because the thing is though such a weird and wacky character to choose it's like wow i i swear they only made they only created him just to kind of fill in some time because he's literally in the film for like few like what two minutes or so i don't know and then he just can't <laughs> godzilla just burn him with his atomic breath so it's like oh okay and it's not like he ever returns i know that in the movie all monsters attack or or, or all out attack something like that uh, that's the one where in the US it's called Godzilla's Revenge. I know technically he came back, but not really because that movie was less of a Godzilla film and more of like, I don't know, it, it was basically about like this little boy, like he dreams about Monster Island and he's hanging with Manila and then, you know, they're reminiscing about Godzilla's past adventures and this guy Condor makes an appearance and it's supposed to be like, ooh, they're having a bit of a rematch, but it's just reused footage from that film. Yeah, Godzilla's Revenge has, that's a whole other thing that we don't need to talk about today, but you get the point, right? But I'm just saying, such a weird character to choose in the form of a figure, but honestly, I would buy it. Like, I kind of want that now, because Sky Condor, he's part of that weird lineage of characters where they're not considered official, like, Toho monsters, but obviously, you know, they're monsters nonetheless, you know what I mean? It's like, why would you really ignore them? What I mean by that is that he's part of, like, that, you know, like, that weird one-off type thing. So, if you remember, again, from King Kong versus Godzilla, there's a part where Kong actually fights a giant octopus, and, of course, that's supposed to be, like, a reference to where, when they were making the first Godzilla movie, originally, one of the ideas was that they wanted to make him into an octopus instead of the weird giant dinosaur lizard that we all know. Uh, but, you know, it's hard to really say. And then, of course, even in the Toho film, Frankenstein Conquers the World, which, by the way, it's not really Frankenstein. It's literally, like, some sort of weird giant caveman who kind of looks like Frankenstein. Uh, so, I don't remember the exact way it was portrayed. I think think like in the u.s version of the film in the final battle instead of fighting baragon he was fighting the giant octopus and it's supposed to be like you know like the same octopus from king kong versus godzilla but not really i don't know that has a whole weird thing on it of its own listen toho is weird when it comes to that type of stuff that's not even counting the weird like skeleton turtle creature from Mothra versus Godzilla where basically like the main characters they go towards the they go to this island where Mothra was and then like in the background you can see like a weird skeleton and then it's like slightly moving but it's moving to where it's like is that a mistake but then apparently that's actually a, a real creature I don't know that's what I'm trying to say Sky Condor is that whack it's like he's in that category but it's even worse because it's like he's literally made as a joke it's like why is he even in it it's like you can't help but wonder like I, I doubt he was gonna have a huge role but i'm just saying the fact that there's like a whole full painting or and like with mothra godzilla and Ibria and everything and he's in it and i'm like okay so, something's cooking up here i mean it's funny don't get me wrong but that's the problem it's funny i mean you watch it and it's like i can't take this thing serious so it's like damn Bandai, you're really going with this, huh? I mean, don't get me wrong. I know their other choices were kind of weird, too. Like, they were thinking about re-releasing King Ghidorah, but having, like, actual flock fur, which... Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. I, I, I... Yeah. But, again, that comes with the problem with Bandai and their Movie Monster series lately. A lot of them are, like, freaking exclusives, but we're talking, like, Japan Store exclusive, Godzilla Store exclusive... Uh, Bandai website exclusive I don't know they got way carried away with it you think 
with McFarlane and his DC Multiverse line, do you think he gets carried away with putting exclusive in different places? You know, like, I don't know, like in GameStop or whatever like that? Oh no, trust me, Bandai uh, does that too, if not worse, because often they'll make characters that are so cool and it's like, you know, but it, it, they make them like hard to find. I remember they announced the weird Godzilla and King Ghidorah like amusement park figures. I remember that. They look interesting, but of course, I think because they were store exclusive, they became really hard to find. And remember, if you're, especially if you're pre-ordering them, that's worse because it's like you want to buy them and it's like, you know, if they sell out, how do you know if they're going to re-release them again? You know, that's the thing. Mind you, these are Japanese toys, like straight up Japan. The only saving grace we have because of how popular Godzilla is and how finally he's getting the recognition here in America that, you know, he's, we've been wanting for a long time. To be fair, he does have a walk of fame in Hollywood. So, okay, I guess kind of makes sense, even though that was back in like, what, 2003, 2004. Kind of ironic because that was when Godzilla Final Wars came out and that was considered a bomb. But remember, if we're talking like US numbers, I think the movie is, is okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. Technically, it was the last and final movie in the original continuity of the Godzilla films, but obviously, you get the idea. I think now he's getting a lot more popular and a lot more recognition, and it's been like that for years and years now. I mean, definitely, there's a lot of channel, channels dedicated to that. I mean, I'm not really part of them, but you get the idea. I'm more of an independent type. It's a long story. But what's also great is that you can actually buy some of these Movie Monster series figures here now. So it's like, for real, I got like all of these. I mean, like, look at that. We got Kiryu. We got Kiryu. We got Kiryu. And you're probably wondering, Josh, why do you have so many of them? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Well, this one I actually got from Toy Tokyo, which is a store in Japan. But whatever you do, bring a lot of money with you because I definitely spent like a good chunk of my pay on it but whatever i had a nice time so i i don't care and i'm okay by the way so it's all good <laughs> so obviously this is of course the kiryu mecha godzilla you know from the 2002 film godzilla against mecha godzilla which is the one that they used the original godzilla's corpse and all that uh of course see we got this version with the weird blue cannons and all that i even still got the tags because i want to review them one of these days with the tags also by the way next toy review is going to be black king from return of ultraman uh, of course, eventually when he uh, comes back for the sequel, Godzilla Tokyo SOS, uh, this is like a kind of sort of normal version of him, sort of. Some of the designs is definitely different from this one. And then, of course, eventually he does get his cannons again. And, of course, slightly different. Trust me, when we get to those toy reviews, you'll understand what I mean. But uh, what, uh, the thing is, though, the toy line is like such a huge stickler because they will literally make figures just based off of like one or two scenes alone. Don't get me wrong. Playmates toys, they're guilty of that, too. I mean, they make Godzilla figures just specifically based off of like one or two scenes that don't even last very long. So it's like, OK, I mean, even though they're only 10 bucks. So uh, but I want to go a little bit back with Bandai and their problems with the exclusives because they got a whole bunch of these really cool figures and I'm glad that they're making them. Uh, it's like I don't know it's like an art form to me R remember that you know that's another reason why I'm obsessed with these but it's the problem with ex exclusives where it's like you know it it's bad enough that the prices are pretty random you don't really know exactly how much you're paying for one or two uh you know but of course like I said there's the the problem where like if you want to get the one that you really wanted you really can't I mean I want to get a 1974 Godzilla figure so bad, but it's like, you know, it's, it, it's confusing too, because it's one of those things where like, you don't really know which one is an exclusive unless somebody really tells you. So if you want a good, perfect example, there's a website called Wikizilla that you can actually check out and they give you like full information as to like what's exclusive and what isn't, which is good, you know? And for the ones that are not exclusive, you can very easily find them either like in places like Barnes & Noble or FYE. Uh, you can find them like on Amazon, you know, for a kind of sort of decent price. You know, I say, you know, it's, it has to be like kind of sort of because, you know, that's a whole other ballpark in and of itself. I don't even touch that, you know, but then when it comes to like, you know, uh, even, even like Mechagodzilla, like when he, like the original classic 1974 version when he's flying, I mean, even that's an exclusive too. And I'm like, oh, that would have been it. I think they did that with Jet Jaguar too. You can still get like the normal one. But if you want to get the one where he's flying, oh no, that you're going to pay a pretty good penny for. And that's not even counting eBay, which I'm not touching that. I love eBay, but I'm sorry. They ask way too much for those. 
and i'm not about that i'm not gonna do that you know i mean don't get me wrong i love my figures on all that i'm blessed to at least have a normal minus one godzilla you know despite all their weird crazy weird versions like the gold one and then there's like the the black black and white version like you know very nice nuts like that i appreciate it but at the same time can we maybe chill a little bit i mean i want i want me some sky condor more than anyone else but still holy crap bandai chill uh, but that's about it that's all i really wanted to talk about today i know this video is a little bit way too long but i haven't talked about the movie monster series in a, in a while so i was like why not let's, let's let's talk about it sure uh so that's about it for now so hopefully i mean i'm trying to get to the toy reviews i know you know slight delay and all that which is yeah, not great, but, you know, remember, school and work kicks my ass, and I'm very tired, so sometimes that does happen, uh, but you'll definitely see me somewhere during this week, uh, so until then, thank you guys for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys next time.